Um, hello, good evening. Carlos, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hello. Good evening. Hello, sir. Uh, well, you are the only one here right now. We are going to wait just some minutes and then we're going to start, okay? Okay, sir. <laughs> I see I only now audit. Um, well, I'm seeing that nobody's connected. Well, just you, Mr. Uh, and Miss Lu Lucia. Miss Pacheco, that she is already connected. I will send a message to the WhatsApp group. Just give me a moment and then we're going to start, okay? Let me see. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, welcome Ms. Escobar. Um, good evening. Okay, um, good evening Ms. Rivas, welcome. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Uh, we're about to start with uh, the video conference and tell me, uh, how do you feel today? What are your expectations mm -hmm. for this class? Okay, uh, we're going to start with that question. Let's see, Mr. Gaviria. 
I feel very good, sir. You feel very good, okay? Uh -huh. You had good expectations for this class. Uh, well, that's good. Uh, Miss Pacheco, what about you? How do you feel today? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm feeling good. Um, <laughs> okay. Great times for the class. Uh, um, uh, go learning, uh, learning about the subjects we gonna talk yesterday. Okay, very good. Uh, do you work today? Are you working or are you studying? I'm studying. You're studying. Uh, okay, what career are you studying? I'm studying uh, engineer systems. Okay, very good. That's good. Uh, let's see, Miss Escobar. Are you there? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Uh, okay, tell us, how do you feel today? Um, I'm okay, thank you. Okay. Everything's okay. Okay, um, everything uh, was good in, in the whole day? Uh, yeah, it was a very, uh, a very chill day. Okay. Very, very nice. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, let's see, Miss. Uh, Rivas, are you there? I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, uh, welcome. Um, how do you feel today? Do you work? Well, you study? I'm not working. You're not working, uh, okay. No, not yet. Okay. But I hope I find a good job soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't even study in mm -hmm. because I, already finished but i miss my classes okay okay you already finished uh, you are in the process yeah. of graduation or you are oh, oh, do you graduate yeah. already? i will graduate on may okay yeah okay i'm just nice. waiting for el carton como dicen <laughs> okay okay <laughs> that's good yeah. that's good um let me see who else Mr. Castillo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All okay, uh, how, do you, how do you feel today? Do you work today oh, or do you study? I, I'm seeing that many of you are studying. Every day the, and the working in, in, my, in my factory and the study English. Uh, <laughs> With you. <laughs> okay, okay. That, that means that was a, 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 a mean. Well, you mean that means that you feel tired today because you work, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see who else, Mister uh, Ramirez. Welcome. Thanks, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How do you feel today, sir? Do you work? Yeah, I I was working and it was a hard day, really. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, well, we're going to be here just one hour and then you, you're going to rest, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, uh, we're going to start with the class because uh, I'm seeing that, that you or many of you have connect uh, to the video conference. And the topic for today, it's uh, relate to the ones that we discussed previously. That's mean the last class. Uh, this is, uh, uh, we're going to continue with that topic, but before that, I want to show you, um, well, give me a second. I want to show you a presentation, but uh, I have to do something for Okay, there, in that way. Uh, sorry, because I, I was uh, just uh, sending some things here. Okay, there. Can you see the PPT? Can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So, um, as I said before, I always uh, start with a quote and I have prepared this quote for you. 
in order to uh, discuss and also that you can in that way you can uh, practice your English. This is the quote. Um, is there any volunteer who wants to read this quote? Okay. The heart is harder to get. Okay. It says the harder you work, the better you get. Okay. This is the quote that I um, I decide to bring to this class tonight. Um, and let's start discussing. What do you think about it? What is your opinion about this quote? Do you think that is true? Do you think that is uh, false? Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Tell me, what do you think? Um, I will ask to everybody, so I will do it using this list, the, ones that I the one that I have here in my screen. Just give me a second, I will put it here. Okay, uh, we're going to start with Miss Contreras. Miss Contreras, you're going to be the first one? I wasn't, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's Ricardo, what's Ricardo? Hey, Ricardo, you are very serious. Uh -huh. No, but the, the thing here is that everybody's going to participate, okay? Um, okay, so okay, you're, okay. You're, going, you're going to participate too. Uh, because it, it, this is an activity for practicing your English. Uh, okay, Miss? Okay. Okay, let's go. The, uh, bird, the, the hard hardest you work, the better you get. Okay, um, Miss, what's your opinion uh -huh. about it? Um, that's, that's, that's true because um, I agree um, because uh, sometimes uh, the people don't give all the, the better, the better what are we doing, okay. uh, more or less. Okay. Is 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 reconfort uh, for me uh, make the better in my life in my work with my family and give it all. Okay, okay, very good. That's good, Miss. That's true. Um, because most of the things, most of the the things we we do, uh, reflect. Uh, what we are okay if we want to achieve something we have to work harder uh, in order to get it uh let me see miss rivas you're the second one in the list that i have here in my screen so tell us what do you think about it mm, i think the people that work harder is the one who gets the best Mm. Well, not all the time, but okay. Okay, we have here room. we have here a, a, a different position. Okay, tell us why. That's good. That's good. I like it. Mm, I mean, because sometimes I don't know the word is just isn't fair. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good point. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mr. Lopez, sir, it's your turn. Tell us. Sorry, teacher. I don't understand. Hello, sir. I can hear you. Hello. Hello. Hello, no, hello, sir. Okay, tell me, um, what do you think about this quote? What is your own opinion? The, the harder you work, the better you get. 
Mm, in my case is 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 oh. Uh, do you think that this 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 um, um we can apply this to your life? That's mean uh well if you work hard or if you are working hard or if you work hard before, do you get something better than the things that you were doing? Um or not? Is it applied? Yeah. Yes? Okay, yeah. that's mean that you agree with this. You agree with this, right? You you must develop the skills and you you get it all. Okay, very good, very good. Thanks for your uh, opinion, Miss Contreras. See, yes, that that's true. So the, this this applies in, in in almost everything, and I said almost because sometimes uh, that's not what happened. Uh, but in almost everything, that's work, and I explain why, because um. If you want to try, if you uh, want to achieve something, if you have plans for your life, uh, for instance, if you want to, if you want to, um, to to buy a new car, okay, uh, that's mean that you have to work harder because uh, you have to save money, you have to work, uh, you have to look for for a, a job or maybe look for a different job, and that way you are going to have the money that you that you need to buy your car. But there are uh, some other situations that this uh, quote, um, this quote doesn't, um, well, th this uh, do not apply, does not apply mean, um, uh, for instance, okay, uh, you are working for a company, okay, and, and you think that you are working hard, you are do, you're, uh, doing things right, uh, you do what the, the, the boss is asking, you complete all the, uh, the homeworks uh, uh, that they give to you, uh, the tasks that, that they give to you, uh, but at the end, you feel that nothing is happening, okay? That uh, you, you, uh, you don't get a different position in if your company and, and you uh, keep in the same position, things like that. That can happen. And in, in those cases, we can see like, okay, this is not working for me because uh, it, it doesn't matter what can I do, nothing happened. Okay, we can see in that way too. Uh, but but bad teacher, sorry. Okay. But okay. you, you change, you grow up, you are a different person. You, exactly. is, is, o sea, y the um, company is not recognize your um, your skill, your work is okay, but you are different. You have to change, okay? You have to change. You have to move. You have to go forward. This that's good. That's a good point, uh, Miss. But uh, what the uh, well, it's it's a good opinion, and and and, and, and that's what uh, people need to know. Okay, if something is not working, just change it. Okay, and, and that's work. Uh, good, Miss Contreras. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, who is missing? Mr. Lopez, do you already participate? Mr. Lopez? Uh, you're not there. Uh, Jorge, Jorge. Hi, hi. Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. You already participate? No, right? Oh, um, in my case, in the, in the hard work, uh, um, no, no, no good, and 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 after work. Is I I work uh, in twenty two years in the in the office and and I finish in the fire and mm -hmm. um I think no I think 
Uh, I think uh, um, uh, is the, the office no mm, Mm -hmm. no, no, that, no. That's mean that, that uh, this you you well well I don't know if if I I, I catch I catch your idea. Uh, yeah. You're saying that this uh, doesn't work, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter if you work hard, you won't get anything. That's what you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, very good. And I respect your opinion. That well, it's it's an opinion. Um, yes, it, it, it could be. It, it, that means depend on, on the, uh, as Ms. Contreras was saying, okay, uh, depend on the positions that we are, because um, sometimes what we need, um, as she said, is just change, change your mind, change your job, okay? But sometimes it's kind of difficult because uh, we're working in a company, but uh, well, uh, find a job is very difficult here in, in, in our country sometimes, okay? Um, and that's, that's a good opinion, sir, uh, and I respect it, okay? Uh, let me see Mr. Gaviria. Okay, tell us, what do you think about it? Yes, yeah, sir. I think uh, everybody needs a job. In my case, uh, I work in 25 years and I am happy with my job. Every day, every day, uh, we are looking for new position, for example. It's important to to find a, 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 good, a, a new position where you can achieve your goal more fast, right? Okay. This is my humble opinion, right? Okay, okay, very good. And, and that's a good point because um, something that happened here is that, um, well, you say that you're happy with your with your job and that's mean that you get what you want, okay? If you're happy, that's mean that a, uh, it's supposed that you work hard to get a, the, that position to feel comfortable. And, and that's, a, a, that's a good. And that's a, another way to see this quote. Well, uh, because of the time, we're going to move on to the following slide. And we're going to be discussing some other quotes later and, and, and giving opinions in that way we're going to be practicing. And uh, the ones that were missing today the, the ones that did not partici uh, uh, didn't participate, they're going to participate uh, tomorrow's class. Well, let's move. Uh, describing problems, we're going to see review about this uh, topic. Um, let me let me ask you, what do you remember from the previous class? Can you make a review, any of you? Uh, I remember a uh, past participle mm -hmm. and subject, verb uh, to be plus par past participle and if described the noun and past participle. Okay. It's not like good. a verb, something like that. Okay, okay, good, good. Uh, very good. So, uh, when we're talking about describing problems, um, we are referring to sentences uh, that are used or uh, that use past participle as adjectives. Okay, and we're saying we were um, discussing some examples yesterday uh, using this, and we I remember that I gave to you a formula uh, in order to construct that uh, type of sentences. Uh, well, we're going to uh, see the, the uh, tonight objective, and it says participants will, will listen to a conversation about problems. 
She kept in need with germs and need with passive infinitive in context. Okay, uh, taking, uh, well, keep in mind this. We're going to be using keep, need with germs, and we're going to be using to need with passive infinitive in context. Okay, uh, if we solve the objective, it says that we're going to listen at conversation. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, this is a sentence that I have prepared for you that uh, we're going to be discussing af after we watch the video. Okay, I will play it right now. And please pay attention to it. Um, let me see if I can share the sound right now. Um, give me a second. Okay. So we have. Please uh, let me know if you can at least. Hello. The Has it ever happened video. to you that everything goes wrong? Okay, tell me. Uh, can you listen the audio? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. So. I will play it right now, pay attention, and then we're going to be working on the sentence that we saw in the previous slide. Okay, so go ahead. Hello, has it ever happened to you that everything goes wrong? Sometimes everything needs to be fixed because everything keeps on breaking. Now listen to the conversation and find out what happened to these people. Don't forget to practice the conversation. Page 38. Exercise 6. Conversation. It keeps burning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Listen to another tenant calling Ms. Okay, okay. Um, here we have the, the, the conversation. And um, I want to ask you, what is the problem here in this conversation? What is happening? Hello? The problem, the problem. It is the oven this time. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's cooking and the chicken goes burnt. Burnt, okay, very good. Yes. Or uh, maybe. Okay, look at the sentence that we have here. And it says the oven keeps burning everything, okay? If we uh, take, um, if we see this transcript of this conversation, we're going to identify that he is reporting that, okay? He is reporting that the oven keeps burning everything. Um, well, we're going to see the, the, the slide, the previous slide that we have in the, in the PPT, this one. It keeps burning, okay? It keeps burning. Uh, if you notice, we're using here the word keeps. Um, just give me a second. I have a message from the group. Hold my internet so can. Okay. Uh, someone was saying that can uh, enter to the video conference. Um, well, I was telling you, it keeps boring. Uh, this structure is for reporting some problems, for describing some, some problems. What are we going to use? in this uh, type of sentence. Well, we're going to use a subject, 
we're going to use the verb keeps, okay, keeps, that's, it is used for describing a, something or describing a problem. And we're going to be using warning, okay? In, but in this case, um, it's the problem that, that we're referring to. Um, this is also, um, um, okay. This is also um, a second conversation. Uh, well, I don't know. Can you see the, the in the screen uh, the video? No. No. Well, maybe I have a problem here. No, we can see it. You can play it. Oh, okay, okay. If we have another conversation, this one, we don't have a transcript. And in this conversation, we're going to identify what is the problem. So please pay attention because in this one, we do not have um, a transcript. It's just the audio. Pay attention to it. Is lock. What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. Okay, there we have the second um, conversation. Um, well, tell me, what is the tenant problem? The light going on and off. Okay, yes, that's right. The light keeps going uh, off and uh, on, okay? So, as we saw in this conversation, the structure that we are using here is, a, a, the, the purpose of this structure is to report problem. Um, how we do it? How we do it? Well, uh, we're going to be using in this type of sentence uh, the ing form that works as gerund. Okay, um, this this um, this type of sentence, um, or in, in, well, in, in this uh, structure, I will use a word, a, a whiteboard to to explain where uh, this sentence. Um, just give me a second because I'm going to type here. It keeps. And I'm going to use the first one. Warning. Okay, it keeps warning. Um, in this type of sentence, uh, if we want to report, okay, that something is not working well, or uh, if we want to report that we have a problem with a specific um, uh, device in our house, for instance, it, we're going to use it keeps, okay? Referring to the, the, the specific um, object, okay? Oh, well, instead of using it, we can say the noun, okay? For instance, could be uh, the computer keeps, okay? Uh, or could be the air conditioner keeps, and we say what is happening with it, with, with it. or uh, we can say the TV keeps, and we uh, also refer or describe the what is happening with the TV. I don't know if this is clear how we use this, uh, this sentence. It's using subject plus keep plus uh, something that we want to report. Is it clear? Please let me know.
Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Please repeat. Okay, tell me. I can hear you. Please, uh, can you repeat? Oh, if I can repeat that. Okay, very good. Yes. Um, well, have we saw in the transcript, have we saw, uh, have we listened in the conversations uh, previously, uh, there we have a problem, okay? Uh, that problem, it has a specific structure when we want to report it. Um, mm -hmm. If you if you if you saw in the trans in the transcript, I, I will share transcript in this case uh, in order to okay there in order to um, identify this. Well, when it says the oven keeps burning, it's because we are reporting in a in a specific problem. We're saying what is the problem there? Okay, the the objective. The, of this class, of this uh, uh, set, uh, uh, lesson, is to construct sentences using KIPS plus the problem that we uh, report about something. Okay, we is just using that structure. Uh, well, if I ask you, um, uh, for instance, uh, well, can you tell me uh, something that it's not working well in your uh, house, referring to in a specific device, maybe? It could be your microwave, your TV, okay? Uh, in that way, you are going to tell me then the name of the, of the device, okay? Uh, plus uh, the, the verb keeps, plus, the thing that is happening with that um, uh, with that thing, I don't know if it's clear. Okay, for instance, I can say, okay, me my, my 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 cell phone, okay, my cell phone or my smartphone keeps a uh, showing a white screen. Okay, because referring, I'm referring to, or I'm describing. Uh, what is happening with my uh, smartphone, okay? Uh, or for instance, I, I, I can say, uh, my TV keeps turning on and off. Or, um, well, my computer keeps flashing, okay? Keep flashing. Uh, uh, can you identify this structure? Well, the things that I'm saying? It's using a, a noun plus kit plus a, a, the thing we want to report using the uh, ing form. For example, teacher, and uh, in some example, uh, using the keeps um, in, in my internet keeps flowing in my home. Yes, example. you got it. You got it. Yes, that's right. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Or or my cell phone keeps keeps. Uh, Mm. Don't listen. Good. Listening. Okay. Keeps. You. 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 Uh, I mean, you say headphones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keeps what? Listen. Listening. Listening. Okay, but in uh -huh. that case, listening. Uh... Don't. Don't. don't ah. listen. Don't listen. Oh, or no. No, in this case, because we're using don't, in, in the, the structure uh, of this sentence must be kept plus the ing form. We don't mm. have to add something else. It's just uh, the ing form. You can think about something like, uh, well, kids muting. Okay, could be. <laughs> well, another example. Uh, oh, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, very good. So, uh, um, we're going to move to the following slide. 
we're going to be working with um, the, the second topic that we have in a platform. It's an it's describing problems too. That's the name of the second topic that we have there. And it says the objective. Um, at the end of this section, participants will learn to use and comprehend the use of keep and knit with gerunds. We'd also be able to practice knit with passive infinitive. Okay. First of all, we're going to identify what is a gerund. Okay. Um, I will ask you. <laughs> I moved to the, to the previous uh, slide, but I, I need to ask you, do you know what is a gerund? I don't really remember. <laughs> you don't remember, okay, okay, okay. We're going to review that today, don't worry. Um, okay. Does anyone here knows what is a gerund? ING. The ING, yes, in English, Yearn, uh, it's a word that we add I ing, but what kind of word? Let's see. Okay, uh, yearn is the ing form of a bear. Okay, that's mean that we're going to take a bear and we are going to add the ing. But it says that that functions the, the same as a noun. Um, well, in English, we have a specific structure a, where we can say it, um, or we can express things that are happening in the moment, okay? Uh, I'm referring to to, um, to present continuous tense. In those sentences, we use a verb with an ing, but that is not um, uh, a gerund, okay? That is a verb um, to specify is something that is happening in that moment, okay? Uh, we're not going to confuse this. Jaron, Jaron is a verb that used the identity form, but in the sentence, it's working as a noun. Uh, for instance, running is fun. Running, running, it's the noun of that, uh, of the subject of that sentence running okay because it's working as a noun uh what are we saying about running that is fun okay um in this well uh, if you see the, the 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 descriptions that i have here it says that in this sentence running is a journey and it acts like a noun um as we saw in the object, we are going to learn how to use kit plus year. Okay, how to use kit plus year. Um, year, if we say that it's work uh, as a noun, uh, the structure of some sentences using kit will be using the subject plus the verb kit plus the year. Okay, and we can construct a sentence like everything kids burning. Okay, everything kids burning. Then we have another structure that it says needs. Okay, needs that it has needs in a sentence. We can both use both structures, we can use subject plus needs, plus the yearned. Um, for instance, the, the example that we have here, it says the oven needs adjusting. Okay, the oven needs adjusting. And then we have a, another structure that it also works as a noun. And this is called infinitive. But what are infinitives? I will use a, a whiteboard to explain this. What is an infinitive? Okay. What is an infinitive? An infinitive is a verb that uh, doesn't have a specific tense. How so? Okay. Uh, if you know, if I, if I want to say something in simple present, 
I can say, I work today, okay? I work, uh, well, I work today. I work today. That's me referring to what I'm going to do or what I do during the day. Uh, oh, for instance, uh, uh, another example, okay? Um, could be like, Um, Monday, well, could be like uh, a Maria, a Maria walks in the park every, every day, okay? Maria walks in the park every day. Works, work is an action, it's a repetitive action, okay? We are referring to something that happened uh, uh, in, in simple present, okay? That's happened. Um, if we want to construct uh, an infinitive uh, word, or in this case, verb, an infinitive verb, we're going to use the article to plus the verb. Okay, plus the verb. That's mean, okay, that's mean that this, this particle will transform all the verbs into infinitives, okay? All the verbs into infinitives. For instance, I can say, uh, I will use that. I can say, to work, to walk, okay, to walk, I can say to speak, to write, okay, to, uh, well, type, and things like that. Oh, hey, take out those words. Uh, can you see this? Can you see this? This example. Can you see it? Can you see these examples? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Those those are called infinitives. Okay. Those are called infinitives. And in the in the slide that we have here, let's see the slide that we have here. Uh, it says that we're going to use the uh, the verb need plus a passive infinity. Okay, how we do it? Check it out. This example. We're going to use it needs plus the infinitive in this case to be adjusted. Okay, adjusted. Um, we're going to practice. We're, we're going to. I, I'm going to create some um, teams here. Mm, I will create three teams, and you are going to be practicing uh, writing sentences using keep, using need, and using need plus pass passive infinity uh, to. Explain this uh, passive infinity in, in, in a different way. Okay, um, could be like using needs, like like the ones that we have here. Uh, needs with the infinitive using two plus the verb, and um, it's necessary to add a past participle verb in order to specify what we want to report, okay? What we want to do. Uh, is it clear what I'm saying? Guys? Hey folks, can you uh, listen to me? Yes. Okay, is it clear what I'm saying? I have a question. Okay, miss. Um, you're we are going to use um, passive infinitive only with need 
or we can use keep? No, no. we are going to use, okay, thank you. That's a good question. Um, we're going to use the uh, past infinitive only with needs, okay? That's the structure that we're going to use. The past in passive infinitive with needs. Or oh, in this case is need plus passive infinitive. Okay. Okay, and with um, the gerunds with um, we can use it with keeps, with keeps and we can use it with need. Okay. Mm, For instance, okay. I will show you. Check out this. Okay. In this one, we're using keep plus the gerund. In, in this one, we're using need plus the year. Okay, if we use keep and need, we can use year. But if we use a passive infinitive, we only use it with need. But if I say it needs to be ad adjusted, and and uh, the other one? It Before keeps... that? Oh, sorry? Mm -hmm. Uh, what you mean? Okay, that was is it needs to be adjusted. But okay. what is the difference if I use needs with a, with a gerund? With the gerund. Okay, um, the meaning is the same. Uh, the, the only thing that we uh, change here is how we say that or, or the content that we're going to say. It, because I can say it needs adjusting, okay? And, and it is good to say it. it it's uh, um, in grammar, if we talk about grammar, it, it's the, the sentence, it's constructed in a good way, okay? Doesn't uh, change the meaning. It doesn't change, change the meaning. Uh, what we're seeing here is that we have two different forms to construct sentences, okay? Using it could be, using need plus past infinitive or could be using need plus year. We can use both, okay? And the meaning is going to be the same. Uh, let me say I had someone that is writing here in the chat. Okay, uh, check it out the examples so that we have here uh, in the chat, Mr. Lopez uh, wrote some, some of them and it says the walls needs to be paint Okay, or the words needs painting. The meaning is the same. Uh, the only thing that change is how we say it. Is it clear, Miss Escobar? Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, very good. So I will create the uh, breakout rooms and you're going to move to a different um, session and then you are going to be back in five minutes. Okay, and then uh, you're going to tell me uh, what are some of the examples that you create? Just write one sentence per each um, uh, per, per each structure that we uh, saw tonight. Okay. Guys. Okay, I will uh, I will open the the, the breakout room right now. Please uh, click on the uh, button that it says join and uh, work with your classmates creating uh, one sentence per each structure. Uh, you're going to be back in five minutes. Okay, see you guys. Fixing and it needs to be fixed. Okay. Yeah. Only that the reforms and your turn. Okay. Um, 
let me see. Um, my cat, my cat keeps. Um, no, no, no. Mm, let me see if I. My computer. Um, it was in the. It's a past. It's a past tense, right? I was tired, but I had to keep walking. Yeah. If you keep reading, you finish the book today. I I like to uh, look for another examples because I can understand better. Okay. Um, okay, guys, um, I was listening to some of your uh, examples. Uh, and something that you have to keep in mind is the name of, the, uh, of this topic. And it says describing problems. That means that you're going to look for some examples that, uh, uh, well, complement that function, uh, describe problems. I don't know if, if I'm explaining in a good way. Yeah, for example, the refrigerator needs to be fixed. Okay, needs to be fixed. Or uh, the refrigerator needs fixing. Okay, you can use it that way. Uh, fixing. Well, remember. No, it, it's correct. You say it, you say it in, in, in a different expression, and it's, and it's good because, because we discussed that in the, in the general room. Okay, remember, we have two forms to express uh, or to describe problems. That's the only thing that, that I have to add to this. So if I say that the bathroom needs to be clean, that's right for the example of needs to gerund. You can use both, okay? You can say needs to be clean or you can say cleaning. Okay. And it's the same, both are correct. Okay. Okay, I will move. I will check the, the work of the of your classmates. Okay. Uh, see you in the general room. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I can understand. Hey. Julia? My example, um, then the first, my bathroom or my bathroom keeps um, broken. broken. Mm. Mm, the, the bathroom needs to be repaired. Yes. The bathroom needs repairing, repairing. Yes, I think that is that. That way we say this idea. This is the idea. <clears throat> okay it keeps finishing the class <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, uh, <laughs> okay um, what could be the, the, the class needs to be finished Okay, it's correct. Very good. <laughs> okay, teacher, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now guys, uh, well, uh, I was um, in, in 
the breakout rooms and I was listening to some of your examples and, and you you said, uh, well, you use the structures well and, and that's good, okay, that's good because we achieved the objective for tonight's class. Uh, well, as Mr. Castillo said, the class needs to be finished and we are going to see and I will see you uh, tomorrow in the at eight in the class number three, and we're going to move on to a different topic. Well, uh, do you have any questions uh, before saying bye? No question, teacher. No question, teacher. Thank you. Okay, 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 guys. Bye. Uh, well, it's a pleasure for me to be here, and I will see you tomorrow. Uh, bye bye, okay. and blessings for all of you. Yeah. Okay, thank you, the chair. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night and blessing. Thank you, sir.